What's up guys, this video is going to be about DXDAG and how to use it. DXDAG is a diagnostic tool used to test DirectX functions. DXDAG can be used to get specs on your computer such as CPU and GPU. You are also able to save a downloaded text file from a scan which can help determine some hardware problems. How to run DXDAG. There are two ways to run DXDAG. Option A is to type DXDAG into the search bar at the bottom left of your screen. Option B is via command or run. For option A, what you're going to do is you're going to type DXDAG in the bottom left search bar of your screen or also your taskbar search box. Once you enter in DXDAG, you will hit open. Option B. You're going to go to the taskbar search box again. You're going to type run and another window is going to pop up. Once the new window pops up, you will type in DXDAG from here and then click OK. Now that you have DXDAG open, you will be seeing this window. There are multiple tabs in this window, such as System, Display 1, Display 2, Sound 1, 2, 3, or 4, and Input. You may notice a green bar on the bottom left of your window. This just means that your information is loading. On the bottom of the window, there is also a tab that says Save All Information. This is where you are able to save the text file we spoke about earlier in the video. Each of the tabs shows different information on different hardware. System will show basic operating systems info such as motherboard, BIOS, CPU, and RAM. Display shows GPU and current driver installed. Sounds show the different sound sources that you have such as a monitor, Realtek audio, and or your headphones. Input will show items such as your keyboard and your mouse. So today we went over the multiple things that you were able to do with DXDAG, the multiple purposes that it can serve for you, and also multiple ways for you to run DXDAG. I think that one of the best features about DXDAG is being able to save that text file, but you can save that text file and then you can give it to the person who is going to be fixing your computer or the person you're presenting the issue with. Otherwise guys, the ways that we went over to open DXDAG was through the taskbar search box and then also through the run and or command tab. All in all, thank you so much for watching guys. I really appreciate your time. I hope you guys learned something new today. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day and have a good one.